Welcome, in front of me I have Garmin Instinct 3 AMOLED Edition and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, we can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically, if the watch is brand new or it's been uh, reset to the factory default settings. And the other way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up, because you can set up your watch without pairing it with a phone. Or you can disconnect it from one phone and then want to basically pair it with another without losing the data. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process, because my watch has been reset to the factory default settings. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, first thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the control button. And after you turn it on and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons, select the language you, you want to use and then press the GPS button to confirm. And as you can see now, we're being asked if you want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that, so press GPS to enter the pairing mode. Now the watch is in the pairing mode, that's how it looks like. We have the QR code on the screen basically. And you can use this QR code to download and install the Connect IQ application. Or not Connect IQ, Garmin Connect application, my bad. Uh, but I'm just gonna use the Play Store instead. So to download the application, you will need to have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store. In the App Store, tap on the search. Then tap on the search bar and type in Garmin Connect. And tap on search. And on the list of apps, you should see this application, uh, Garmin Connect by Garmin with this icon. Tap on it, then tap on the Get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on Open to open it. In the app, you might see this pop-up about the Bluetooth devices. Tap on Allow. And next, you should see basically this page. And here we can either log in into existing account if you have one, or create a new account if you don't have one, and then use it to log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on Sign In, but I, if I, as I mentioned, mentioned before, if you don't have an account, you can tap on Create Account, make a, make a new one, and then log in into it. Okay, so let's tap on Sign In, check the box, tap Next, and enter the email address and password. Okay, and then we can tap on Next. If you see this pop-up about the notifications, you can either allow it or deny it. If you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, allow it. If you don't care, you can deny it. And after that, the app should detect your watch automatically, as you can see, unless you have other devices connected to your um, account, other Garmin devices or other uh, Garmin watches. Um, if it uh, doesn't pop up with this and you see the home page instead, you will need to tap on menu icon, tap on Garmin devices and tap on add device, but I'm going to show it to you later on. Okay, once it detects your uh, watch, tap on connected, then tap on pair, allow or deny the permission for notifications, then tap on next. Uh, if you see this page, here we can basically uh, set up a schedule for sleeping and this is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep So basically mute all of the notifications while you're sleeping Of course it only works when your watch is on your wrist and you can edit it by tapping on edit Set the bedtime set the wake time choose the days on which you want to uh, Have the do not disturb mode active and then you can tap on done and tap on next and next we have the full calendar access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications about uh, your calendar events on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it, if you, or rather deny it. You can skip this, but which basically means it's denied, so it won't be enabled. Or if you want to use it, tap on allow full calendar access and tap on allow. Next we have the location permission. This is useful for the features like uh, local weather, uh, tracking your uh, route on the map when you're running and cycling and stuff like that. If you want to use those features, allow it. 
if you don't care, you have one tap on skip and you can keep it denied. Uh, and once you're done with the permissions, tap on next, sync now, finish. And uh, here we have a tutorial how to use the watch. I'm just gonna tap on skip. Here I'm gonna tap on dismiss. And at this point you should see the home page. And on it there should be icon of your watch right here in the top right corner. And if you tap on more uh, Garmin devices, you should see your instinct a free AMOLED on the list of devices and you can tap on it to open the uh, settings page for it. Which means that the devices are paired together. Now I'm gonna quickly remove it and we're gonna pair it through the settings. Okay, this is gone. We can go to settings. Uh, Bluetooth, remove it from here. Okay, and now we can pair it through the settings. So if your watch is already set up and you want to pair it with a phone, you can uh, or rather you need to enter the pairing mode and to do that press and hold the menu button then scroll through the menu by using the up and down buttons look for the option called uh, i believe it's connectivity yeah connectivity select it and then press gps here select the phone and press gps then scroll down and find the option called pair phone and press gps once you press it the watch will enter the pairing mode now you can download the app if you don't have it oh, uh, so if you don't have the application install it and then open it uh, and log in. Uh, and if you're already logged in, you will see the home page. And as you can see, uh, we have this plus button right here in the top right corner. Or we can tap on more, Garmin devices, and add device. And the app will start searching for the devices. It should detect your watch. You can tap on connected, pair, allow. Of course, next, we don't need to deal with the permissions anymore because they're already uh, set up. We can sign now, finish, skip the tutorial, no thanks, got it. And the homepage is, uh, we, we see the homepage again, here we have the watch in the top right corner, and if we tap on the current devices, it should be here. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.